hello my darlings welcome back to my youtube channel my name is maki mj i would like to welcome you to our conscious being community if you haven't subscribed yet what are you waiting for become one of us and subscribe also don't forget to hit that bell button to be notified every time i have a new video on our channel in this community we specialize on manifestation law of attraction personal development our inner well-being all in all everything that benefits us from the inside to the outside if that's what you are into you know what to do be one of us before i waste any of your time let's get into it romantize romantizing your life hmm? making your life more romantic i love that concept okay you know i was about to do a video about this because i love I love I'm a hopeless romantic and what better way to increase the flow and divine frequencies of love than to be in love and be in love with my own life and actually showing myself that I love myself and actually being around romance romance is a very beautiful thing it's beautiful I love it we all love it we all want it but you know what today I'm about to give you a secret the secret of using what you have to actually romanticize your life yes you can do it you alone you don't need any other person to do this you can actually be the character of your life take charge and be like you know what i'm gonna be the steering of my life i'm gonna be the main character of my life and actually i am going to make myself happy that's what romanticizing your life is about so i'm about to share with you a few tips that I used to romanticize my life and which you can also use. Tip number one, it's very important because this tip is very important. You know why? Because you wouldn't realize what you have if you don't know what you have. Tip number one is be present in the current moment. Be present, stay present. I know you you've heard it you've heard it somewhere right you've heard it somewhere be present in your life when you start being present in your life you actually start realizing that there is so much to be grateful for there is so many miracles happening around you there is so many love around you there's so many beautiful things being in the moment like that oh my god my earring came out Okay, I'm gonna put it in. Okay, being in the present moment, what does this mean? It means that in order for you to enjoy your life currently in this moment, in this time, in this realm, or in this universe, you have to master being present. We spend so much time thinking about our future, fantasizing about our future, romanticizing our future, thinking that we are going to be happy when we get there. The trick is, the secret is in being happy right now, being happy in this moment, being happy with everything that is going around you. Tips on how to stay present is, for an example, stop being on your phone in moments where you shouldn't be on your phone. Stop bringing your phone to the dinner table. Stop bringing your phone when you're out with your friends or with your family. You are busy on your phone. You are, be present with your mind as much as you are with your physical being, with your body. Be present. That's where the magic is. Let's not, let's stop this thing of focusing on the future and wanting to be happy when we get to a certain point in our life not realizing that this moment right here we manifested this moment right here we are where we should be and we should be enjoying this moment we should actually be present in this moment because there are blessings in this moment that we actually prayed for before that we actually wanted so how are you going to actually realize that you are living a good life when you are very closed off and you don't realize the blessings that are around you when all you do is fantasizing about the future it's all about the future the future the future i'm not saying you shouldn't you should but you should also pay attention to your present moment what beautiful things are happening around you what kind of people are around you right now what kind of experiences are you having be present with your soul be present with your mind be present with your being be present with your frequency that is where the magic happens tip number two is notice all the luxurious little things that are in your life 
there are a lot of luxurious things that are in our life that we download because we had a certain image of luxury or else we have luxurious things in our life right now things like taking a walk with your dog things like uh picking up roses in your garden luxury is all around us i don't care what nobody says that you have to have a certain amount in your bank account to live a luxurious life but that's a lie luxury it's all around us and we create our own luxury according to the way we want to create luxury you don't have to be a millionaire to live a luxurious life you don't have to have a certain budget to buy expensive luxurious things or brands or clothes or watches or or anything there are certain small things of luxury you create create your own luxury create your own luxury i for one when i want to feel um when i'm in the mood to feel luxurious i make sure that my space my surroundings like for an example my my room upgrade your room with the budget that you have you don't have to go all out and spend a lot of money in order for you to feel like you are in luxury they it's it's a it's a lot of things that contribute to luxury that contribute to you feeling luxurious you can change your sheets change the quality of your sheets you don't also have to go to buy the most expensive sultan egyptian sheets to to feel luxury it's in the way where you eat your breakfast it's in the way you carry yourself it's in your routines what do you do that makes you feel like i am actually living in a good life you don't have to live in a mansion to live a luxurious life it's all in your head if you see luxury around you realize that you're surrounded by luxury it's in how you actually gift yourself buying yourself flowers every now and then um lighting your candles oh my gosh lighting your candles burning your incense sticks um shutting down your lights and just be in the present moment play your nice music dance there is so much beautiful experiences around us this that's what we mean by romanticize your life you know have a, a romantic dinner for yourself kind of like dinner for you you don't need to go to a restaurant for that you don't need to spend a lot of money for that you just buy your candles there are a lot of stores and shops that have affordable scented candles i love scented candles like the one behind me smells very good burn your incense do things that will help you increase your vibration energy we have luxury all around us we just have to open our eyes and our minds to actually realizing that we are living in a luxurious life the flowers outside of your home that's luxury the roses that you planted outside your house it's luxury walking your dog taking a walk a stroll around your neighborhood the fact that your neighborhood is a safe neighborhood the way you can actually walk your dog that's a luxury the fact that you have the access to the things that you need that's a luxury so notice the little luxuries that's around us tip number three love yourself first you cannot be in a romance story a romantic story where there isn't love you cannot romanticize your life when you don't love yourself put yourself first you're the main character of your story this is your story love yourself like yo love yourself i cannot emphasize this enough because uh we are never taught that loving ourselves is important and it is very very much important especially when you are in this journey of life you cannot expect people to love you in a certain way yes we do want love we're created to love one another but the first love story begins with yourself first love story it begins with you how you love yourself how you talk to yourself how you actually forgive yourself for the past mistakes that you've made how you carry yourself in in when you're alone what you say to yourself is important self-love is is the foundation of great of a great journey in life it's a foundation of experiencing a great life set boundaries setting boundaries is not a bad thing do not feel bad to say no don't feel bad for saying this is not for me don't feel bad for actually choosing the life that you want for yourself because honey this is your life and you have only one life to live it so live it fully and love yourself fully unconditionally and that fully listen give yourself all the life that you have been giving other people fearlessly love yourself and be confident in that also like be confident be sure that you know what no matter what happens in my life i am 
continuously going to love myself tip number four i love this one because <laughs> tip number <laughs> okay seriously now tip number four is rest we spend so much time working 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 and working and working and working and working towards the future and making plans for the future which is not also a bad thing but we need time to rest to nurture our body to to relax open up a book and read a book uh meditate meditate is it helps relax your mind and connect to your higher self it's a very very smoothing and calming practice if you haven't started meditating i don't know what you're waiting for but you should start meditating and play your nice music sip your champagne you know relax relax your body relax your mind relax your soul you need it you need it life is hard enough so don't be hard on yourself relax you need to relax have a day in the week where you're just like today it's my self-care day i am actually going to tend to myself spend time with yourself and actually catch up on your favorite netflix series you know do what you love rest you need it uh number five it's in sync it goes hand in hand with resting and i vouch for this one because i'm a travel bug i love to travel even though i haven't traveled as much but i do love to travel i know the impact and the positive uh alignment and the positive mind shift that you have after traveling so if you haven't traveled and if you're procrastinating on traveling this is your wake-up call this is your wake-up call travel have a staycation book yourself into a nearest uh guest house or a nearest hotel or a resort and just stay there for a night even a night it will make a huge impact to you it will give you a, a a whole new energy boost you know just pack your bags for a night go stay there be alone read your book connect to your source connect to the divine and go travel the best way to romanticize your life is to give your life new experiences yes i said it give your life new experiences go to a staycation with your partner or just book out a, a weekend away with your girls just explore new new worlds you need it your soul needs it romanticize yourself like look forward to giving yourself that time away from your normal routine and be like you know what i'm booking my flight ticket i'm booking that airbnb i'm actually going i'm going to stay there for the weekend or for the night you need it because that's how you can actually bring more positive energy into your life and actually romanticize your life travel you will get your money back and you will never regret the experience number six uh another tip is date yourself you're like mikey how am i gonna date myself yes you can date yourself date yourself honey you need to date yourself as much as you love yourself you can also date yourself you date yourself by taking yourself out to date take yourself out to breakfast dates take yourself out to dinner dates take yourself out to lunch date i love brunches so take yourself out to a brunch honey and just order your champagne order your juice order whatever you like and just enjoy be in the moment put your phone away and just enjoy the moment enjoy the surroundings enjoy the aura enjoy the aesthetics of the place where you're at enjoy being alone you know enjoy spending time alone make your alone memories you will discover a lot about yourself you will break out of the shell that you've created yourself to be in and you will love each and every minute of your life you will enjoy each and every second of your life so take yourself to breakfast day make that a norm and have dinner dates have have brunches take yourself to the movies like do something alone you don't have to always have people to make good memories you can make good memories alone as long as you make sure that you are safe and what you are doing makes you happy that's all that you need that's all that you need bring the spark back into your life Bring the spark back into actually realizing that you are actually living a good life. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. 
my god my juices are coming in they're just flowing number seven is look good smell good there's a power in actually looking good it boosts your confidence it makes you feel like they just injected you with a supernatural power that you didn't have before so that's the art that's the secret of looking good and smelling good like invest in a very beautiful perfume you know a scent that will be uh for you a scent that will represent you and and invest in the type of clothing that make you feel good that make you feel like you're in control of your life because the whole idea of romanticizing your life is being in control of your own life is being it's actually being the main character having the main character energy for your own life so look good, smell good, dress well. You don't need to go somewhere. You, it, it, you don't have to only look good when you have to go somewhere. Look good for your own self. If you, you are working from home, there is power in actually changing you from your PJs to fresh clothes. You know, wear like you're going somewhere. If, walk with confidence. Walk like you're a boss. Because honey, you are a boss. You're the boss of your life. So walk like a boss, smell good, have a special scent, like spend time in finding the kind of scent that you like, a kind of signature scent that you'll know what, this is my signature scent. And wear that perfume, wear it when you're going to bed, wear it when you're just lazing around the house, wear it everywhere so that you can actually feel good smell the sense of smell ignites a level of vibration from within us so find that smell for yourself look good and dress in a way that you'll be proud of yourself you don't need to be invited somewhere to dress good and look good and smell good do that for yourself take control of the romance in your life the whole concept of romanticizing your life is using what you already have and doing the little things to spark that love relationship between you and yourself and to actually love life again. Be grateful. I can't wait to hear what you have to say about this romanticizing your life topic down in the comment section below. Let's keep talking. Let's keep engaging. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram as well. It's Maki underscore MJ. And also subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. And don't forget to hit the bell button in order for you to be notified every time I have a new video up in my channel. May love and light be with you.